Hi, I'm Chris Clark, back in Zoom Studio East. I'm the Artistic Director of Cinema St. Louis for the proud presenters of the 20th Annual Whitaker St. Louis Filmmaker Showcase. Over these 20 years, we've shown somewhere between 1,500 to maybe as many as 2,000 films made by uh, local St. Louisans and a few expatriates who've escaped our shores uh, to work elsewhere. Right now, I'm talking to Jacob Adams to talk about his uh, COVID project uh, from Lindenwood um, called Brothers. Um, which actually co-starred his own brother. Um, hello, Jacob. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Um, so you um, graduated in uh, December, but um, this project um, kind of dovetails nicely into the world situation right now. Um, so, mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of Lindenwood students were kind of forced to remake and re reimagine um, their projects and use what they have. And you did, you use what you had, you use your home and use your own brother. And uh, I don't know who the other Adams in the crew list were, but either siblings or parents or, or both. Um, so, you know, you, you did it. Uh, and uh, it's a real life situation. And, you know, brother, I have a brother. I know that, you know, we have rivalries and, and getting stuck together in rooms is, is tough. So you don't have to talk about what your other project might've been, but you know, how did it, how did you wind up creating this particular film? Yeah, um, my, my parents were the other Adams who helped out. So, um, you know, just they helped whenever, wherever they could and however I asked them to, which is amazing. I love them so much for that. Um, but basically, you know, I was in the middle of trying to, you know, find, I was scouting locations and I was still trying to contact other um, actors for my other project, um, which was going to be, which was based around the idea of a hitman who um, gets queasy when he sees the side of blood. You know, kind of ironic. Um, but, uh, I went through a couple things and I had to adjust it and make some, you know, um, other changes. But then, you know, COVID happens and for about a week and a half, two weeks, I'd say, I was racking my brain trying to come up with something and you know i just basically the advice that i got was just go with what you know and so you know i was like okay well my brother typically you know siblings fight and bicker and stuff frequently um thankfully my brother and i we get along pretty well so uh we haven't had too many of those fights but um yeah it was that was the main reason why I, I came to this conclusion was because, you know, I was just trying to figure something out and I just went with well, what, I, what I knew. Yep. You know, this film included, I've been very, very impressed with the <clears throat> creative results uh, that your fellow Lions came up with, uh, with some of the films and, you know, using what you have and what you know when you're trapped, you know, it's almost like one of those, uh, one of those escape rooms. You got to use what you have and that's all you get. Um, so you just kept it in there and, you know, your brother is an actor. He pops up in another film, um, Oscar Mirabal's uh, Mic Drop. So, you know, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you guys worked together well on screen. You could, you could tell the tension was bubbling um, <clears throat> for real, um, you know, because you know that emotion uh, with each other. Mm -hmm. um, was there any, you know, challenges in working with your immediate nuclear family? Um, it seemed like it worked well enough, but there had to have been a moment or two where maybe it didn't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, actually, you know, the, <laughs> we, uh, my family, we can be a little bit OCD about things, we can be a little bit perfectionist. And uh, there were some scenes that we did several times, because I wasn't happy with it, or my dad wasn't happy with it, or my brother wasn't happy with it. And so we did, it took a lot longer than it probably should have, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, just being able to criticize each other constructively and say, hey, you know, I think it'd be better if you did this or try doing it this way. That was, while we were exhausted and we were getting a little bit snippy with each other, that was probably the best thing about the whole experience was that we were able to actually say, hey, try this. I think this would probably work a little bit better. And, you know, the outcome, given the circumstances, I, I'm pretty pleased with what, what came out. That might have been interesting to watch. Too bad there wasn't a, a third sibling or a cousin or somebody standing behind doing the making of, you know, watching y'all bicker back and forth. That would have been been funny too. But that's not the story we're talking about today. We're talking about right. uh, about brothers. 
Um, <clears throat> so you're just kind of relaxing and hanging out for the summer. Like you said before, you're just, you've been in school for a thousand years and this is your first yeah. break, uh, forced yeah. uh, in some ways, but you know, hope you're able to enjoy it in, on some mm -hmm. level and be creative and continue playing some of those games you were playing with your brother in the, in the film and, and not tear mm -hmm. each other's hair out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, you know, trying to do, uh, keep myself occupied, trying to keep my creative juices flowing. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to take it easy until another, you know, maybe two, three weeks and then I'm going to really start getting down and looking for, for jobs and other opportunities for me to, you know, be creative. Well, nobody knows what day or time it is, but, um, I went, I cut the grass this morning. I thought I was going to die and I only cut the front yard. I didn't even do anything else. So stay inside today <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and relax and enjoy some movies. Um, well, Jacob, thank you for spending part of your, um, early afternoon with me today. Uh, I did enjoy the film very much. Uh, welcome to the showcase and I hope you enjoy your experience with the festival and, uh, you know, you're part of the, you're an alum now. So we hope to see more creative projects from you in the future. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chris.